Come on, thanks, Dan. And uh, in fairness, uh, great well done to yourself and the organisation for 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 this uh, opportunity that you've given for people to come and speak about this issue today. Um, I suppose you know many people when you when you get involved in politics, often when you when you walk through the doors of of, of Leinster House, it's often like going into a bit of a, a bit of a bubble. Um, and many people, I suppose, that that get involved in in politics are very clean cut individuals. Now, I came into politics, I suppose, in a different way. I had um, travelled around around the world. I had seen a bit of London, seen a bit of South America, seen a bit of this, that, and the other, and uh, and I continue to travel and 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 educate myself that way. Um, but the 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 issue of of drugs and how we deal with 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 drugs in in this society. Um, I think has totally and utterly failed. It has been a failure of successive governments, I think, for far too long. And it is, as Dan said, quite refreshing that we finally have uh, a minister for drugs who has the balls, really, to say, you know, that we need to look at at decriminalisation. Um, because, look, I, I see it, and I, I, I come from a small area in, um, in County Limerick, right? And it's not fashionable for, for politicians to speak about drugs because as soon as you open up the door to talk about decriminalization, talk about possible legalization, um, it, it, it can be sensationalized and you know you, you can be you can be demonized in a way that oh, just your man is mad. He's talking about you know drugs. He's talking about legalizing drugs. There must be something up there. Um, but it's an issue that I see. I see. I see it. Uh, Every day, like I see, I see it while I walk around Dublin. I see it when I, when I go out in the evening time. I see it when I'm at home. Last week, I got a bit of a, a bit of a wake up call. We were out celebrating an old win. We, we won an old a, a, a final a couple of weeks ago, and we were out celebrating. And we were outside. A couple of us were outside smoking c- cigarettes, uh, and um, people uh, known drug dealers from from town from Limerick City. They were out looking for a couple of young fellas uh, who were involved and obviously had gotten into to, to serious death. Uh, with, with these criminals um, and you see what I see happening is I see I see kids uh, who are getting involved in, in, in drug gangs in the cities uh, and in our counties um, and you know I, I would sooner uh, I, I, it pains me to, to, to see that because once you, once you are involved I think there is there is no way to, to, to get out of that or it seems to be a bit of a, a black hole and it's a tough tough place to be and I think that that's where we need to, to put some of our focus on. Let's take it away from trying to deal everything through the criminal justice system. Let's use those uh, resources that we are spending on Gardaí, on courts, on our prison services to help those young people into access programs, into education programs. Let's put the money into addiction centres, let's put the money into awareness, let's put the money into education um, because that's, I, I think I think that's that's where it needs to uh, it needs to go. Um, I could tell you uh, plenty plenty more anecdotes, but look, it's just just to say that I'm, I I feel that this is a first step, um, and it's a movement I think that's happening internationally. You know, people are finally standing up and saying, "Here, listen, there's nothing wrong with me because I smoke a joint. There's nothing wrong with me because I like to take a line of MDMA. There's nothing wrong with me if I, because I, I want to do this, that, or the other. It's it's my choice. I'm an adult. It's my decision, and I think that's that's where we need to we need to, to, to go about it. Um, but but for people who make those choices uh, to be criminalised, to me, is just plain simply stupid and 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 wrong. Um, and needs to change. Uh, thanks again, Dan, for getting me on early. I'm 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 in the middle of a kind of a wedding ceremony that I have to have to get back to. It's not my own, thankfully enough. But uh, been there once. I want to do that again. But um, Dan, look, it's great to have the opportunity to come here to to speak to you, and uh, I hope to to keep in contact with you in the future. And anything that we can do uh, with regards to being inside in the in the Oireachtas to bring this issue um, out into the open and to and to, to come up with a, a, a decent policy to deal with it. Um, I'll, 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 I'm more than 100% behind it. Yeah.